Stories about money that most people don't really know. Shaq originally had a deal with Reebok for his shoes, but he met a woman one time and she kind of yelled at him that his shoes were way too expensive for her to afford. Well, Shaq being Shaq, as we all know, he's got a, as big a heart as he is a man. Um, and he actually stopped his contract with Reebok, signed one with Walmart, then brought over the designers from Reebok to design his shoe to make it look more expensive than it was so he could sell affordable shoes to people, but still have that high quality, high class look. He has since sold over 400 million shoes. This here behind me is Dan, who at 29 years old found a glitch in an ATM that allowed him to withdraw more than his balance. In about four and a half months, he managed to withdraw more than $1.6 million of the bank's money and go on a spending spree. Well, standing behind me is Mr. T, and if you know anything about him, he was a man that wore a lot of gold. But one day he just stopped. And when he was asked why he stopped wearing his gold, one of his main kind of calling cards, if you would, um, he said that he helped out in 2005 during Hurricane Katrina, and he felt it would be insensitive to him to be walking around and flaunting all of this gold when so many people had lost so much. Well, anybody into crypto probably knows of crypto.com. And at one point, they accidentally sent somebody $10 million because instead of a $100 refund, they typed in his account number under the refund dollar amount line. It took them seven months to notice, and now they're suing the person they sent the money to.